Hello everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu after another very long break. Um, I won't go into all that now, I'll just get cracking because I've literally just about to start this video and my daughter's just messaged me asking if she can come round with the children because they've got the carpet cleaner at their house. So I'm going to have to shoot off any minute, but I've been putting off making this video for so long I thought I'd just get started. So if I disappear in a moment, well, you won't notice because I'll just come back and carry on and you won't know how long I've been away. Anyway, today's um, video is going to be a design team project for Val's Crafts Creations. I will leave all the information about the design team and this particular kit in the description box below. I do just want to take a moment to say thank you to Val and to um, Xanthony from Sunny Creates, who I'm... I'm a design team member for both those ladies and they have been very, very patient with me over the last few months when, um, you know, my life's gone a bit crazy and I haven't been able to craft, let alone record videos um, and upload them. So thank you so much, ladies, for your patience. So I'll do a quick flip through of this huge kit to start with and then I'll tell you what I'm planning to make. So the kit's 36 pages altogether. Um, you've got this this one cover page and then there's I think there's nine pages of ephemera and the rest is all like full sheets. Um, I've printed out just on basic um, ATGSM paper so it's not photo quality so obviously the colours are not as vibrant as they would be if I used um, a better quality paper. Um, but because I want to stick this on things as I will show you in a moment... Um, this is perfectly adequate for what I want. So these pages are absolutely beautiful. The kit is called, did it say it on the front? I think it's Lavender Fields. Yes, Lavender Fields. Um, and it is a huge junk journal kit. As I say, there's 36 pages here all together. So it is rather large. So how have you all been? What have you all been up to? I hope you're all happy and well and um, you've been managed managing to craft along in my absence. I'm sure you've missed me desperately. <laughs> um, I haven't even been able to watch um, any YouTube, well, very few YouTube videos. I'm way, way behind um, in watching all the videos of the people that I subscribe to. So I'm slowly trying to catch up with that. But obviously, um, fitting everything in around life, family, work, and all that sort of thing. Um, sometimes, you know, something has to give. And for the last few months, anything to do with crafting in my life has had to give. So um, hopefully things will settle down a bit now and I can carry on crafting. <laughs> so um, that they were all, you know, sort of full pages without lines. And then there's these pages that have got writing lines on them, um, you know, so that you can journal more easily, if that's what you like to do in your journals. Or, you know, you could make these into tag, you know, big tags or print them at a reduced size and um, make tags from these pages. They're all absolutely beautiful. That one's in the wrong place because that hasn't got lines on it. I did go through and try and quickly organise these before I started. but And then we're on to the ephemera. So very useful bits and pieces here. Usually I do print my ephemera onto more heavyweight paper. Um, but as I say, today I have just quickly printed everything out onto the paper that was in my printer because I had an idea of what I was going to do with it and I didn't need it to be um, particularly sturdy. And... Um, what was the other thing I was just going to say? Something else just occurred to me then about paper and I forgot what I was going to say. Obviously wasn't very important. Right, so I am not going to be using all of those pages today because I am not making um, a complete 
journal. But what I've had through the post today is all this tat. So I thought that I will make use of that. And I've also, I had some um, sheets of music paper lying around. I've tried to tidy my desk up a bit because everything's just been dumped on here while I've not been working. Um, so I left those out because there's um, music paper in some of these pages, as you saw as I flicked through. So what I thought I would do is use some of this um, junk mail that's just come through the post today and set the dog off while Hubby was trying to sleep because Hubby's on nights. Um, I thought I would make sort of a free floating thing. <laughs> I'm just wondering if that will be too big. I might have to cut one of these down. So what I thought I'd do is have a base, you know, a back piece, and then maybe I'll use these two, make a big pocket so, you know, it'll be just a little bit smaller than the back. And, and then make and make that a pocket and put a big tag in there and then have a smaller pocket on the front and have something else in there. So that's what I thought I'd do because then I can cover these and get them used up um, and I can use this lovely kit and have it play. So I'm just going to put you on pause for one moment because I want to check that I haven't had a call from my daughter before I get started. I'll be back in a second. OK, no message. So I feel like she could possibly just turn up at any moment. So we'll see how far we get. Um, right. I need a glue stick. I was trying to think of what I would need and get it all out. But obviously I'm not going to have succeeded. I'm far too rusty. I do know I didn't get my knife out and I'm going to need that. So when I make a junk journal, let's have a look at this page because this is one that... I printed out um, twice for some reason. So I'm, I'm not going to fold that because I might want to use it, might I? Let's fold this one. This is just a blank piece of paper so that I can get an idea of the sort of size I want because I don't know if I'm going to stick this whole thing on a page in a journal or if it's going to be a floating thing that's going to get tucked in a pocket. I haven't decided yet. So... I'm going to want to make this a little bit smaller than the sort of size I would usually use on a page. So I think if I cut that about there and there, we'll have a good starting point. So let's see if we can do that with our knife so that I don't have to get the big old chompy chopper out. Normally I put my phone on airplane mode when I'm filming, if I remember. I do usually remember so that I don't get interrupted. But as I'm waiting to hear from my daughter, um, I haven't done that. So, um, the video could just stop recording at any point because if a call comes through, my phone does stop recording um, without any warning. And usually I have no idea that it's done that until I get to the end of my video and realise that for however long I haven't been videoing at all, which is always fun. Right, so if I, that does not look straight to me. What am I lining that up with? Maybe I should be lining it up there. Yep, that would do it. So I'm just cutting this back piece down to size. And then usually when I make things like this, I do stitch around them. Um, now, if that, no, even if it was being stuck, that's going to, it's still going to be too wide. So I'm going to take a little bit more um, off both the height and the width, I think. So let's let's go right down here. Where's my twelve? So I've um I've been thinking while I've been not 
crafting. It's always dangerous, isn't it? Um, and I've got quite a lot of, I've now sort of collated quite a lot of books, book pages, um, and things like, well, buttons, obviously. We all know about my button obsession. Um, and what else have I got lots of? Cigarette or tea cards. Um, so what I'm thinking is I might put some bundles together of things like that. Um, you know, like bundles of book pages, bundles of buttons, bundles of cigarette or tea cards and pop them up for sale. Oh no, my knife's just rolled underneath my Cricut machine. Like that should be better because that should fit whether I decide to make a big pocket and pop it in or I decide to stick it down. Actually, the, what I'm thinking of would be quite nice on the inside of a journal cover. Um, and because it's going to be quite weighty, that might be a good use for it. So then this is going to be a pocket on top, but I want it to be a big pocket. So I'm going to cut that. How big do I want it? You can see Maxie's hairs floating around. We want to see that it is actually a pocket, don't we? So if we went about there as a starting point, and the height's probably, the height doesn't matter quite so much. As long as it's obviously not bigger than the actual base. Yeah, so I've been thinking about, you know, maybe putting some little bits and pieces together, especially for people who are just starting out, you know, and don't have all these sorts of things. You know, when you first start junk journaling, you think you feel like you need all the things and you don't really have very much to start with. And I could even do like bundles of different things, you know, some book pages, some um, buttons and some tea cards that all sort of went together to, you know, like a little journal kit. I think that would be okay. So let's, let's trim this down. Oh, looks almost perfectly the right place for a nice solid line to follow. You know, and in book pages, I'd also include like music paper and things as well, because I've got quite a few music books now. So um, that's my thoughts to try and reduce my stash a bit, because we may possibly be moving. Um, now this, I know it's not going to be tall enough. I thought that might work as a tag to go in there, but it's not going to be big enough. Right, what shall I use to cover the back? I could use this extra sheet of paper, couldn't I? That I printed out. It's quite a nice background. Um, can I see through that? Let's just stick that on straight. I'm just looking at this to see which side would be best, you know, which will show through least when the thing's stuck on with the writing and things. I don't think it really matters. Most of it's going to be covered anyway by the time we get going. So if I cut this piece of paper to the right size, she says, I won't try and do that with my scissors. But I'm going to leave the extra white on for the moment so that if I have misjudged this at all, I've got a bit of leeway, hopefully. Um, 
actually that's going to be the right width. Right, yeah, if I pop that on the middle now, then I can just cut around the rest. I hope you understand what I'm doing. Now, where did I put the rest of that rubbish to act as a glue page? Um, did I chuck it under here? What have I done? What have I done? Use them for oh, and while I'm on that, that sort of just reminded me of something. Um, on one of my older videos, I know I haven't done videos for a long time, so they're all older, but anyway, um, a video that I had done quite a long time ago, somebody had watched it recently and said that they couldn't hear me properly. Um, and she assured me that she wasn't hard of hearing and she had her device i don't know what she was watching on whether it was a computer and i'm saying she um it could have been a gentleman i didn't i've got a feeling it was a lady but i can't remember which video it was and so i can't check who the commenter was um but there was a lady who said she couldn't hear me um and she as i say she assured me she wasn't hard of hearing and um she didn't have any trouble with anybody else's videos so I was just wondering, nobody has ever commented that before. Um, so I was just wondering if it's an issue for anybody else or if this lady was just unfortunate. Um, I'm trying to line up this edge and not include my pen mark. Um, yeah, so please let me know if you routinely or if you have ever, as far as you can recall, had any trouble hearing me on any of my videos or indeed if you can't hear me on this video I know I do tend to bend down and rummage around and things um, and I know I don't have proper equipment because this is a hobby and um, I did reply that you know I'm just using my phone I d I'm not a big youtuber I don't have all the fancy equipment um, so when I move around, obviously the sound isn't being picked up as well as it does when I am just sitting here right next to my phone. Um, and I, you know, I, I hold my hands up to that. I've, I'm not wearing a microphone. Um, and currently I don't have any plans to do anything like that because, as I say, this is a hobby. Crafting costs me enough money as it is without then, you know, going down the rabbit hole of YouTube equipment and um, I just film these so that you know to share what I'm doing and in, maybe inspire beginners and um, you know I think this is the same for most of us and um, being a junk journal maker is never going to make me rich <laughs> let's face it we spend more than we are, would ever earn um, but I say, I don't do this to make money. It's my hobby. It's just for fun. So, I. but if I've, obviously, if it is an issue for everybody, then I will rethink that and have a look at it and see if I do need to make any changes. Um, as I say, nobody has ever mentioned that before. So I would be interested to hear your thoughts, please. Let me know if you can hear me okay I mean I hate the sound of my own voice so I do watch my videos back and no I don't I play my videos back um but I do tend to do it at double speed so I don't want to listen to myself I hate it but I do try to check to make sure everything is okay before I upload a video um oh, I didn't make a very good job of that did I, I need some ink and I've never noticed an issue myself, but as I say, I'm hoping that this poor lady, whatever she was watching me on, just didn't agree with whatever I'm recording on. Um, and it's just one of those things. But if it's for everybody, then I do need to have a rethink. So 
let's have a bit of ink on the back of this no on the edge even on the edge of this back i should say now normally i would stitch around something like this before i went any further and do that at each stage but i can't do that on video and i am rushing a bit in case daughter arrives so i may i may stitch around the whole thing once it's finished i'll see what it looks like and what i think i need so now i need to cover this with something else to pop on top and i think maybe i mean all these papers are lovely and i should really be using these but i think maybe some music paper on the next pocket for some variety and then on the top pocket i will use something else from there so if i pop that on there And because I do usually stitch around everything, glue stick is usually perfectly adequate for doing this sort of thing, in case you're wondering. I don't have any problems anyway. I used to be a bit of a snob about glue stick and I didn't use it. Um, it's on this side here, because obviously oh yeah, that would be all right. Um, when I was when I used to make cards, when I was um, a stamping up rep, um, I would have dreamed of using glue stick for anything. <laughs> and it took me a long time making journals before I relented and thought I'd give glue stick a try. And it's absolutely fine for most things, and it's much cheaper than the glues I used to use. As a rule now, I use glue stick, art glitter glue and um, fabric glue. In case you're wondering, and sometimes you who, if I need something. Oh, well, and also I do have a glue gun, but I don't really crack that out very often. Um, it's a bit of a faff when you haven't got a lot, you know, when you haven't got a dedicated work area. I find the glue gun a bit of a faff. So, but hopefully in the future, I will once again have my own craft space and I will make use of my glue gun. All these lovely things that I don't play with because when you don't have a dedicated space it's a bit of a pain to keep getting everything in and out and it's time consuming right i think i'm just wondering if i want a little notch on both of these as they're both going to be pockets and i think the answer is yes i do so what i'm going to do is try and get that in the middle ish and try and punch them both at the same time, which might be asking a little bit much of my punch, but I'm trying to make sure that they're lined up with each other. So does that look like the middle? Whee! So let's a bit more around there, and a bit more of that around there, and then I'm going to pop this on here I think I will use my art glitter glue for that and I did it was very good thought about it before I started and I did wash this out clean the nozzle out before I started because I haven't used this glue since I last did a video and I think that was the middle of July and as I'm recording this, it's the middle of September. So I knew that that would be an issue if I didn't deal with it before I turned the camera on. So aren't I a good girl? I'm trying to... Now that I've made these holes in the same place, I'm trying to line them up as I stick. 
Oh my dear, I've got glue all over my fingers now. Look, I held it in the wrong place. What a numpty. Right, so that's that pocket there. And then I want a little pocket down here. And I thought I could perhaps use something ephemery. <laughs> that's a technical term. I thought I could use something from here. Let's just give that a bit of help because that is going to be quite heavy now. What do I want to use? Could use one of those. Not sure if I'm still in frame. Let's pop that that's drying over there because you don't need to look at glue drying, do you? But you might want to look at what I'm picking. So I thought one of these possibly. They are not right. And they are not right. They are decorative. Possibly one of those, although I think I want it landscape rather than portrait. And they would be good as little tags to put in. I could use that. And I could use one of those. I'm just lit. I can hear noise outside. I'm not sure if my, it's my next door neighbour or my daughter turning up. Right, there, so those tags and things could possibly go in something. But these might be good. Right, I think what I'll do is chomp some of these out so that we can have a close look. So we can put those to one side. These will still need strengthening um, because they are just on copy paper, as I say. I can't use them as is, which I could have done if I had printed them on sturdier paper. But I didn't. So, none of these might work. I just want to take some of the excess off as well so that I can get a better idea of the size. Uh, and then this pocket is a possibility. Put those out the way. These, wasn't it? Not they. Right, let's audition these. will be once the sides are folded in will be too narrow so that will be the same so it's going to be one of these one of this I feel I think these might be a bit better because with the edges we've got a bit of um you know we can keep make the pocket a bit deeper to make it easier to get things in and out so I want to back this onto something something being another piece of paper of some sort don't you want to use, waste my coffee dyed paper tea dyed even I don't want to waste um Surely I've got something here that's a misprint. Right, just bear with me a moment. I'll be back in a sec. I really am a numpty, aren't I? I'm rummaging around looking for stuff to back this on. And that's what I've kept all this stuff for, isn't it? 
so I want something flimsy. I've got something that's actually papery rather than this is the flimsiest thing. I mean, that was what the whole point of this video, wasn't it? It was to use up these horrible bits of junk mail. And now I'm going off trying to find paper to strengthen my pocket. Honestly, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. Right, I'm going to plonk that on there. should have got out um, was my scoreboard but I didn't so we will manage without it okay so put that rubbish there now really I should um, leave this to dry a bit longer be tr before trying to work with it but we're doing a video aren't we It's not going to be particularly straight because we all know my cutting skills leave a lot to be desired. But this is ephemera for a junk journal, so it's not going to be perfect, is it? That's not the idea. So um, let me just leave that for a second and that can be drying. And let's, if I pick out some bits that will fit in these pockets, I can be backing those as well. Um, and they can be drying then while I fiddle about with the pockets. So that could be some. Hello again. So as expected, my daughter did call me. And so the camera stopped recording. So I have no idea um, where we were, I'm afraid. But I've just pulled out. I was looking, I think, before the camera went off while my envelope oh, while that was drying that pocket I was pulling out some more bits to put in the pockets um so I've just got a few bits here and I'm just sticking them um onto um paper to make them more sturdy and obviously these things I will need to back as well because um you're going to see the other side. So that's where I am. As I say, I don't quite know where the video stopped, but hopefully you haven't missed too much of all this exciting stuff. So we'll pop that on there. We'll see how many of these I can get onto one. Oh, I just thought if I can find a sheet of, uh, I was going to say tea dyed paper, but I could actually use one of the kit sheets to back this. And I can just stick the whole thing on and then cut them out all in one go rather than fiddling about cutting the shapes out twice. Bigger one on here. Nope. So we'll pop that little one down at the bottom there.
and then I can leave these to dry while I go back to the pockety thing. Um, that fits on there. It's going to be just going to be too small. I should have stuck that closer. Never mind. Never mind. Right. What have we got here? That's pale enough to work. I think I'll use this one. So if I pop the whole thing on here, and um, that can be the backing of all of these things. to make sure I've got the glue everywhere because obviously the things are in different places on the other side and I don't want anything lifting but I might have to go back and um what's on that side I've got to remember there's a bit of white space not sure let's pull that down a bit and hopefully that will be okay and if it's not hopefully we can make it work so I'm going to leave that to dry I need to pop this one on something don't I that's too thick Sorry if I'm going off screen. I'm not talking because I'm concentrating on trying to make sure I've got glue everywhere. Obviously that's very taxing, you know, laying glue down. <laughs> Takes a lot of concentration. Right. I've lost my lid. Oh, I hope I haven't put that down too far for the white. Oh, that should be all right. Right, I'm going to leave that for a second to dry and go back to this. Now I need to sort of score these flaps so that I can fold them easily. And then we can pop that onto the front and then that will be all our pockets done. And then it will just be a case of going back and filling the pockets with things. So. just taking off a little bit more shaping these corners um what was that something's just falling down the side there uh just to reduce the bulk a little bit now do i want a 
another little notch in that one. I don't think I do. So let's ink the edges of this up. And then again, we'll use the um, art glitter glue on this. Because it's a bit heavier. I'm not going to put that right at the bottom. I'm going to leave a little bit of the music paper showing at the bottom. I'm not sure, not entirely sure that's straight, but uh, it's straight ish <laughs> and centered ish. So we have now, if we stuck this down on three sides, the whole thing, we'd have a pocket at the back which it looks like we're doing because I put a notch in it, didn't I? <laughs> so there we go. That's the decision made. Then we have a pocket here, a big pocket here, and a little pocket there. So we need to make a um, big tag for there, medium tag for there, and then put some little things in here, which is probably what these are going to be. That one might, may well go in, am I on screen? This shaped one will probably go in the middle and possibly that one. These will go in the front, maybe with some other little bits. But we will need to have a big journal card for the back and something from here. So I don't really want to use, or do I? Do I want to use the same paper there as a journal card? Where's my folded page so I can get an idea of what this is going to look like? Although I wouldn't be using it on a plain white page, it would be on a, a tea dyed page, but it will give us a starting point. So if we stuck that down on the three sides, would we want a journal card or a tag? that is the same behind there or not? That's the question. We do have plenty of sheets to work with though. Ah, we could make a music sh uh, sheet tag to go at the back, couldn't we? That would work. So how big would we want that to be? How big is this? this measures I have no idea how long this video is going to be because I've kept turning turning off and turning on didn't I so that's five inches and that is seven inches so we are probably going to want a tag that's say four and a half to allow for the glue by, we don't want it to stick above the page, do we? Maybe seven and a half? As I say, four and a half by seven and a half. Shall we have a go at that? Oh, look at that. Just about right. that off do I oh, oh it's cut there mm. how big was that it's only seven I want to go down a bit more but there's a little tear there um if I went 
from the bottom. And still got a bow above there. Even if I made it a tag shape, what to do, what to do. Maybe it'll be all right once I've backed it. need to back it onto something sturdy or something light. How big is this? Sorry for faffing. Right. Let's stick that on there to start with. do let's pop that at the top there this um music paper is not um is not square which you find a lot with old books and music things. Right, so I'm going to try and tear that without ripping the tear in the music paper anymore. Okay. So hopefully that will be right. This side with something else. Was that going to be tall enough? And we are going to cut the top off, aren't we? Because this was this was taller than we wanted, wasn't it? What did I say? Seven and a half. Yes, yeah, so we're only really going to go up to the music. So that should be okay. was I actually remember to uh, put the glue on the right side. is a bit messy and all over the place but I'm going to cut it down to size in a minute so hopefully it will all it'll all be all right in, in the end it'll be all right on the night so leave that one to dry now and let's bring back where did I put them I put them there let's bring these back so maybe I should just try and cut these with the knife. What do we think?
think these may need to go under something heavy overnight to um, flatten them down. But I'm just working with them as they are at the moment so that you can see what I'm doing um, whilst we're recording. Just so you can see, you know, roughly how they're going to look when they're all finished. So that's quite nice. Obviously, I won't be able to um, cut around that tag top with a knife. Am I on screen? I hope I am. I'm back again. Sorry for another interruption. Was another daughter, another phone call. So anyway, all you missed um, was me cutting these out. I think you saw them all before I finished. So these were the one. These were all stuck on one sheet, and these were stuck on another. Um, I've just cut everything out. I've cut the corners off that to make a tag shape. Um, you saw me doing all these with my knife and then I just finished them off while I was talking to my daughter. So what we have ended up with is there's my blank page. So this is going to be stuck on a page in a journal and then we're going to, oops, knocked something on the floor. That will be tucked in the back. Um, I'll put something fancy on there to fill that in. This one will probably go in the middle. Um, probably with this one as well, maybe. I don't know. This, these are still drying, so they're a bit difficult to manoeuvre. And then we have a couple here. In this little pocket at the front and then obviously this will all be decorated up and as I say I'll be putting you know bits of ribbon and things on there but that's how that's looking so I'm sorry it's such a bitty video um I hope you managed to follow along it's going to be interesting for me <laughs> when I put all these bits together to see exactly what you missed and what you didn't um but thank you for watching thank you for joining me today uh stay safe look after yourselves and until the next time, enjoy your own crafty time. Bye-bye.